Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So the theme for today's painting is May the 4th Challenge. I'm sure this rings a bell for most Star Wars fans. Huge thanks to Dona from It's Art by Dona M for organising this huge collab. I'm quite excited for this because it's my first time with this group. So there'll be tons of amazing artists and channels which I've not interacted with before. It's quite a versatile bunch with various techniques, mediums and art styles to explore. Don't forget to check out all their artworks. I've added the links to their channels in the description below. Right after me is Nina from Nina Art Life. Stay tuned after this premiere and I'll redirect over to hers. This team is fun but also challenging. I'm not exactly a hardcore Star Wars fan but I'm definitely an art collab junkie for sure. Have you heard of this saying called, love the sinner, hate the sin? That is exactly how I feel about this artwork. I love the concept, I hate the artwork. I think I butchered a few of their faces and that is an understatement. To be fair, I had more than two months to prepare for this but since I'm the sort of person who leaves my handphone battery till 1%, you can tell I live life dangerously on the edge. Hence, I was on panic mode two days before the deadline to upload. For this painting, I thought it would be fun to give Fashion Week a little Star Wars twist. Did you know that fashion has always had an even deeper relationship with the costumes of Star Wars, which both revolutionized the concept of sci-fi costumes and anticipated a radical movement in the fashion industry since the late 1970s? Prior to Star Wars, sci-fi costumes fell into a couple of cliché futuristic costumes. Think silver jumpsuits with diagonal stripes, skimpy leg-bearing Greco-Roman warrior togas, or a spacey take on contemporary clothing. But Star Wars, memorably taking place a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, took a different tack. Its stormtroopers, Darth Vader, and constellation of enemies and warriors were dressed in cool purified suits of armour streamlined unadorned costumes and imposing robes that seemed unfamiliar, unearthly, and downright peculiar. Borrowed plot points and characters from Akira Kurosawa's samurai movies, the costumes were clearly taking cues from Japanese traditional dresses. It is distinctively different from the whole western fashion tradition, and that's an important thing to try and get a sort of like alien look with those dark flowing hooded robes. Not coincidentally, it was at that very moment that an emerging class of Japanese avant-garde designers were beginning to toy with their country's folk costume in a movement that would still reverberate in the western world fashion capitals. Rei Kawakubo, Yoji Yamamoto, Kansai Yamamoto and Isi Miyaki were experimenting with surreal and cerebral shapes and bulbous gatherings of fabric that resembles the fresh outer world look of Star Wars, with perhaps less threatening results. Yoji Yamamoto debuted his first collection in Tokyo the year of Star Wars premiere and others began showing in Paris in the early 80s. The group would be immortalised in the 1983 New Yorker article by Kennedy Fraser, prophetically named The Great Moment. There was a small debate on whether it was entirely accidental because during that particular period right when Star Wars came out, it was when Japan ruled the world. The Japanese economy was on top of the world, they were taking over all kinds of companies, and there was definitely a hint of an idea that Japan was kind of like this super empire ready for world domination. So whether consciously or unconsciously, John Molo, the costume designer for Star Wars, was picking up on Japanese themes for their outfits. For the more recent installments of Star Wars, we can also see how their costumes have evolved into hot couture runway looks. But whether Chewbacca will appear in a future film wearing the bestial Gucci loafers that are on the feet of seemingly every fashion editor remains to be seen. Now, in this little fantasy runway that I've created, I'm pretty sure the Star Wars characters can appreciate a lightsaber collection. Brownie points if you can guess which character was sitting at Anna Winter's spot on the front row seats. I hope you guys like this painting, and don't forget to check out all the channels below. Hence, without further ado, let's begin. <laughs>